Trump and First Lady Melania with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and his wife Aki Abe at Mar-a-Lago in February, 2017. Robert Kraft, owner of the New England Patriots is seated at left. Susan Walsh app images President Donald Trump has owned Mar-a-Lago since the 1980s. The president visited the resort and hosted world leaders multiple times this year, earning it the nickname of the Winter White House. To join Mar-a-Lago, members must initially pay $200,000, plus $14,000 in annual fees. Mar-a-Lago, President Donald Trump's Florida resort and club, has quickly become known as the Winter White House. The Trumps are spending Thanksgiving at the resort, which Trump himself referred to as his Southern White House after spending several consecutive weekends there earlier this year. Mar-a-Lago became the subject of an ethical debate after the president was photographed being briefed on North Korea's missile test while hosting Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe at the resort in February. Democrats in Congress have called for Trump to release lists of the dignitaries he plans to host at the Palm Beach Resort, as well as a complete list of paying members, in order to resolve potential conflicts of interest. The club has not yet done so. According to the New York Times, the number of applications to join the club soared in the wake of Trump's election as president, and revenue has grown. Shortly after the 2016 presidential election, the resort doubled its initial membership fee to $200,000, and members must also pay $14,000 in annual fees. Mar-a-Lago has 500 members who are welcome to enjoy the 20-acre club's beach, pool, spa, and dining options along with many of those in Trump's inner circle. Earlier this year the Times and Politico published incomplete lists of Mar-a-Lago's members, many of whom are Wall Streeters, real estate moguls, energy executives, and Trump campaign donors. We've rounded up 15 of the most notable names among them, view as one-page slides.